friends, welcome back to the Always Busted Garage. My name is Jim with It's Always Busted in Philadelphia. And today we have the Binford Tools, model number 6100 jointer. We're gonna unbox it and take a look. But first, let's go over some specs. Okay, so let's take a look at this uh, Binford Tools Model 6100. Uh, as you can see, it has a 1 6th horsepower motor that planes through tough woods like balsa and pine. Uh, you're only dealing with a single knife, which is great because it really makes it easier to change the blades, saves you money in the long run. Uh, you know, to me, two knives, three knives just seems like overkill. I, I don't know why uh, these, these manufacturers just keep adding knives. Um, you also get a free lifetime subscription to Tool Time Magazine, which is just a great value. Um, you get a nice selection of accessories, and you can get it for just $221.99 shipped. Really a great deal from Binford. You know, if you are a woodworker, I really don't understand why you don't already have this on your bench top. Okay, let's bust open this bad boy. Okay, so right here you've got your mower power switch. Oh, oh, oh. You've got your Binford patented depth of cut indicator accurate to within one quarter of an inch. Wow, look at that, it's set up already. The Binford sure is easy to assemble. It's got a high quality thin sheet metal blade guard that rubs against the table so that you know it's protecting you. It's got a nice cast Chinesium table that ensures relative flatness compared to the Rocky Mountains. It has a sturdy fence that only wobbles a little bit. And best of all, it sounds great when you turn it on. Sounds like power. The Binford Model 6100 Jointer. Pick yours up at your local big box store today. Hey guys, well I hope by now you've figured out, if you didn't know immediately, that this was an April Fool's joke. There is no Binford Tools. It's from the show Home Improvement with Tim Allen. Um, this is actually a Vivor planer uh, that I got online. I did pay $200 for it. However, as soon as I ordered it, uh, the price went up to $221, and shortly after that it showed as out of stock. It was on Amazon for more like $280, uh, but that listing appears to have completely disappeared from Amazon. So it's like I may have ordered the last one of these planers on the planet or something like that. Um, you know, we'll do a full unboxing and demo for real on this machine soon. But until then, it's always busted in Philadelphia. Where's the damn button to stop the recording? Hello, I'm Jim Davis.